Hey everyone, uh, Royal here, and today I'll teach you how to run the SH282 in the real value. So before you get started, uh, you need three things first. First, you need a steam locomotive uh, driver's license from the station's office. So you have to do, I have to get other license first before you get that. Uh, next, you need the shovel and the, the lighter, which you can get from the shop here. Yeah. So there's a shovel and the lighter. So you can buy that with this. So there are multiple shops around the map in case you guys don't. So yeah. there, those are the three things you need first. So let's go back to the locomotive. Right here. Uh, let's go to the cab and let's start. So, first off, uh, let's label all the valves, levers, and dials. So, this is the water uh, valve, which uh, injects water from the tender to the engine. Uh, then we have these five valves. So, uh, these are the water and steam valves, which uh, dump water and steam, respectively. Um, you guys don't typically need to use those, except for... Uh, uh, like when you're uh, when you end your journey and you want to release all the steam from the boiler, uh, then we have this valve. Which I don't know what it does. It, it does nothing. It's not labeled. Uh, then we have this the fire out valve, which turns off the fire by um, cutting off the air. And then we have the blower valve, which uh, blows air into the firebox to increase the temperature. Uh, then this is the wire water uh, meter, which uh, shows the level of water in the boiler then we have the pressure gauge the temperature gauge and then this is the regulator which is basically the throttle of the engine then we have the pressure gauge for the brakes this is for the air brake the air brake and the independent brake and this is the sand sander lever and sand uh, meter then we have the cutoff regulator uh, which determines the timing of the steam entering the pistons over there so uh, when pushed all the way forward it makes maximum power and when pushed all the way back it's uh, maximum power in reverse and then we have the speedometer so those are the valves uh, you guys need to know so let's run this thing so first off we open the firebox Use a shovel. Uh, shovel in some coal. Then we grab our lighter. Use the mouse scroll wheel to open it. Left mouse button to light it. And then G to throw it in. Now that we got the fire, let's close it. Watch as the temperature rises. Now we open the water injector to put water inside the ancient so as you can see the water level is rising and steam is being generated there. so now steam pressure is slowly increasing as well as temperature and the water is being consumed slowly if you guys want to speed this process up you can always shove in more coal Or you can turn on the blower. Watch as the temperature increases much more rapidly when the blower is on. But it does consume more coal. So usually you'll be using this when the uh, when you go uphill and your engine is struggling. This is also this also does the same function as the the blower. It's called the damper, but it don't it can only be used when you're moving at high speed, since it relies on the air going through the engine. So now that our pressure is high enough, I usually start at around eight to nine bar before I start operating. So let's turn off the brake, turn on, uh, push the regulator all the way forward for maximum power, and then. 
very gently push the regulator. Now we're moving kind of slow. That was all the tricks, it was all the So there, if you want to go in reverse, and it's really right there. Uh, move this uh, regulator wheel all the way backwards, and then and turn the engine. So let's try hauling some load. So all the way forward for maximum power, and then around one to two clicks from the middle for maximum speed. So that would be up. flat or uh, slight decline and you want to make more speed, make sure to not put this at the very top because that's not, that doesn't make uh, your train go faster. So let's go back and pick up some cargo. Do not hit your cargo or not like, hit anything above 10 kilometers per hour because it causes damage. So, for the air brake pressure to increase, looks like we have enough pressure, but we're gonna need. A lot more pressure for this thing. Just shove in a bit of coal. Make sure our water water's running a bit low, so let's turn the injector on. The brakes are good. Make sure to always move this forward before or backward before going to the direction. When starting full power, push the regulator slowly. Five 
these areas are really well made, so you guys have to use that very small. Or else you can use a lot of small. These air brakes don't, don't respond uh, instantly, and if they also don't uh, release instantly, so you have to shot but you guys get the idea um, there that's how you operate the steam to come out in the real valley so thank you guys for watching see you guys next time